right, man. Purses are revealed for Canelo Alvarez taking on Sergey Kovalev this Saturday on the zone. Let's talk about it and kind of explain how the purses work in today's boxing world. Appreciate everybody for tapping back in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And, um, yeah, uh, Canelo is set to make a lot more <laughs> than Kovalev, uh, on the hard purses, the guaranteed purses, which he is guaranteed 35 million and Kovalev is guaranteed 3 million. Now, What's going to happen is Kovalev is going to get some money on the back end. He's going to get about $7 million on the back end. I think the deal about $10 million. So the zone do get back end money. And one of the benefits of only reporting that you're getting $3 million is that's what the commission is going to take from. The commission cannot, you know, take their money, I guess, from your back end money. So when you say, I'm only going to make $3 million, they only get their 2 3% from the $3 million. All right. It says per state and per Nevada State Athletic Commission official contract purchase for Saturday's night uh, night's Golden Boy main event card at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Canelo, 35 million. Kovalev, 3 million, but he is guaranteed several millions more. You know what I'm saying? And then he continues with Ryan Garcia, who really cares. At this point, I think he got a really good fight, though. Versus Romero Dunno, the guy that he just don't want. He just didn't want to fight even before. Uh... The late notice and Avril Sparrow went to jail, but that's another conversation for another day. But um, yeah, Kovalev gonna get more money on the back end. Basically, they're gonna take less uh percentage wise. And usually the sanction bell bodies take uh maybe like three percent, you know, I think it is, and then or maybe three percent, I think it is, is the going rate. It might be a little bit higher than that. And then if you Floyd and Canelo, you up there in the three, three thirty million. Hundred million dollar range. They only take like one percent out, or even less than that, to accommodate. And then they kind of, if you unify more than one belt, then it goes from like maybe the three percent going rate. Right, you got two belts. Maybe it go down to one point five, and that's one of the reasons why they don't rank alphabet champions probably because once they consolidate the belts, unification belt, they get less money. So, you know, a lot of people don't know the business side of boxing. I really don't know it. I've just been, you know, listening, you know, for years to people talk about it. So, you know, and then, you know, doing some investigation. But, you know, to the naked eye, uh, Kovalev getting raped here. <laughs> but in the grand scheme of things, champions don't mean nothing in boxing no more. You know what I'm saying? Kovalev's the champion, but uh, he's going to get $10 million, I believe it is. But Canelo making three times more than him. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? The champion, the belts don't even, don't make you respect it no more. You know what I'm saying? You know, you ever believe, you know, people going back to the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, and 70s in boxing, that the champion will make three times less, more than three times less, you know, than the challenger is. It's crazy. And the challenger is moving up in weight. But they didn't gentrify or commercial and commercialize boxing. That's what happened. And until boxers start taking a stand, you know, for better purses, better money, better money, if they don't have nobody to fight, you know what I'm saying, you know, then they're going to have to, you know, uh, give you a better going rate. But it's gonna always going to be somebody cross the gun line, boss. It's always going to be that way. If Kovalev didn't take the fight, then, you know, maybe Callum Smith, maybe Jamal Charlo, Danny Jacobs take the fight. So everybody thirsty for the payday. Nobody thirsty for the legacy. Nobody, nobody has any integrity left in boxing no more. Nobody's just going to say, you know what, man? I got too much pride to really get three times less. But for Kovalev, it's a career high payday for him. And you see he happy. But, I, you know, really this fight don't have no buzz. You know, since the, the Canelo went to the zone, he don't have no buzz, man. It's, you know, Jorge, Masadive, hopefully I said his name right. I know I didn't. And Nate Diaz, they got a little buzz. But it don't even seem like a, a Las Vegas fight week, man. But... You know, we we Americans and we black and I'm black American, so I really don't really care. I barely understand what Kovalev's saying. I barely understand Canelo saying. I think uh, Spence and, and Porter had way more buzz than this, but hey, that's for other people to decide. But I appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email if you got business question, inquiry, response, if video request. Want to make a donation? Link subscription. Best way to donate is share. Share the video. Appreciate the brothers, man, supporting the channel, man. Just keep sharing. And uh, I linked the uh, source in the description so you go straight to the link and look at the entire purses. One time for the one time. Goodfellas Sports TV, we gone.